and taking matters into her own hands. A South Bay mother who wanted her children to help those less fortunate than them. So she started her own way for them and inspired thousands of other local teens to do the same thing. Our Bay Area Proud segment is next. Okay, tonight's Bay Area Proud segment is all about a gift that's handed down from one generation to another. But it's not something you can hold in your hands. It's all about heart. Garvin Thomas joins us now with tonight's Bay Area Proud. Uh, Jessica Janelle, you know, one day, almost a decade ago, Aisa Chattagula woke up, called her husband who was on a business trip and said she was going to make a major life change, leave her career and start a nonprofit. She did it with her children in mind. She's ended up helping many, many more. So we are giving out like basic necessity, winter care kits, uh, shoes. Two things one quickly learns after spending time with Aisha Chadagula. Umbrellas, tents, tarps. First, she has a strong motivation to help others. We heard there are 125 families who are in need. Second, is where that motivation comes from. Giving back, I think, comes for me from my parents. To back that up, Aisha tells how when she was little, growing up in India, her birthday was not celebrated with a party, but by inviting homeless people in their community over for a home-cooked meal. Literally, we go to the streets, we give them a day, one day notice, like, hey, tomorrow, come over for dinner, and then they show up. But when Aisha's children were teenagers growing up in Silicon Valley, she felt the message the world was sending them was too focused on achievement and success and not enough about serving others. She literally woke up one morning in February of 2015 determined to do something about it. Feeling very strongly. I feel like I have to do this. I want to do this. I feel like I can do this. You're going to make them very happy. Yes? Aisha went on to found Empower and Excel, a nonprofit focused entirely on getting young people involved in giving back to their community. They hand make blankets and handwrite holiday cards to go with the food, clothing, and supplies they give to those living on the streets. And it's important to Aisha that the young people are involved in every step of the process, small, medium, or large. including meeting those receiving their help face to face. They are coming out and seeing where it is going. How is the smile coming on the receiving end? What is the difference they are making? That's very important. That's like very impactful. I don't have to preach anything. They are experiencing it. That's, that stays on their mind. It has been almost a decade since Aisha started Empower and Excel with her children in mind, but it has ended up helping so many others. Close to 200,000 people have benefited from their generosity, and 3,000 young people have taken part. Lives on both sides of the equation possibly changed forever. And that's the impact. That's, that's a beautiful experience. And because it's been a decade and she started when her kids were teenagers, the first group are now graduating college and going out and starting their own. And she says she hears from all the time yeah. that the experience these young people had in Empower and Excel, mm -hmm. they want to pay forward. So they're going out and doing, uh, doing volunteer work on their own, getting together and organizing. It just really kind of compounds itself. I want an example to set also about course correcting and making mm -hmm. a change and just deciding I'm going to change and I'm going to go for this. I mean, yes. that really takes a lot of determination and clear clarity about yes, your life. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Knowing what's important. Yes, exactly. Okay. Changed the lives of so many teenagers who are now doing great things. Yeah.